Let me have it. That's a fire. It still looks cool. Doesn't matter. You want it? I got that from five dollars at Walmart. Really? Yeah, that was five dollars. Puppet says you're a favorite YouTuber, DJ. Hey, yo! Appreciate you. Appreciate you, but I'm here. (laughs) They they won't be talking to the one y'all are watching. They'll be talking to the one that is to there in front of them. Yeah. So this is a live stream. Be here and be with it live. And then what we're also doing is recording. Uh, a much longer uncut version of this and then what we're gonna do with the uh, longer version is we're gonna edit it put music behind it make it more entertaining to watch cut out the boring parts with modern ninja talks things like that yeah this is that way it's a lot more producible and looks a lot cooler we're gonna wait a couple minutes here for everyone kind of get in get settled and then we'll we'll start we'll get started <coughs> so so you like the light it's, oh, it's to represent the ideas you don't have by the way um first thing first things first um the, I'm honestly confused. You weren't ready. The no, I'm honestly ready. confused. The word of the uh, the word of the day is traditional. <laughs> okay, so really? we are playing a game yeah. for this stream <laughs> called Word of the Day. All right, we might play a different game after this one ends. But the way Word of the Day works is that once somebody says the word of the day, when somebody says it the first time, to, that person I have to loses. Play this in like just a second. Why? I have to do the intro. Oh shit! Yeah, they got they got no for the podcast too, buddy. <laughs> Never mind. I'll explain it again. <laughs> I figured I'd stop you right now. Okay. What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing avian. Stop doing it. Do it again. Do it again. Woo! Do it again. Why? Why? So I was laughing and I wasn't wearing avian, so I wasn't. Y'all ever see this made in line? All right. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the only. In- <laughs> How many takes do you usually have to do? Guys? Only once. I'm gonna have to bleep that. Normally, normally. normally. but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Not modern ninja behind the scenes. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Illiteracy is real and ever present inside the United States. Facts. Don't think just because you can read that other people can. I too. can't. So, what's up, guys? This is the only ninja wearing aviators in a super hat, and I'm not actually wearing aviators right now because We're I left them at my house. Being inside has never stopped me before. I just left them outside somewhere. So, but anyway, welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing episode two of the podcast. If you haven't seen episode one, once you finish this one, you know, go back and check it out if you're interested. But today, we actually have a little game going on. What's the game called? Uh, the game is Word of the Day. Word of the Day. Word of the Day. If you want to give a basic day, rundown. A word of the day is selected, and the first person to say it um, has the other two post something to the loser's Instagram story. Mm. So, if you say it, oh, Caleb okay, and Wyatt gotcha. will get to post to your story. Yeah, you better give us your phone. The word it. of the day is tradition. Can we get, oh, oh God. God. Side question, just before we go on. Like, what are the limits? Can you get banned for a story? Yes. Yes, yes you can. Yeah, you can. You can. You can How long can, can, can... No, hold on. Yeah. 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 How long... The only, the the only way you can get an instant ban is with something to do with pedophilia, bestiality, rape, murder, threats of violence, okay. and terrorism. Did not plan any of that, so I yeah. think we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. But you can get a 30-minute ban for saying um, some things, which up, we'll definitely put on your story. Make sure you're following mine. us on social guy, media though. so that you can, so you can see, see the it. loser's post. I am mm-hmm. at Shaded Glass Photography. In the real video, I'll edit it to go right here. All right, he yeah. is at Modern Ninja underscore two three two. No, I'm just trying to drag to the wrong that place. That is not correct. <laughs> all right. But it's fine. They, they probably know where to find it. It's all links in below. So yeah, we'll just put it down here. And then I'm at Wyatt Mit, Wyatt underscore Mitch, spelled M I T S C H, because it's dumb like that. <laughs> That's how they do in Germany descended family. It be like that Wait. sometimes. It do. All right. So what's the first question? First topic of the day. We're gonna go with martial arts myth. First myth is martial arts will turn kids into bullies and make you violent. Who says that? Kinda. I feel like parents say that. I mean, <laughs> really? Do I've been mean? doing karate all my life, and now I just really like to fight. But like, so it, kind it depends. Of, it, so it depends. It, depends. it can kind of it make depends. you violent. No, it depends on your sh- the instructor. Hundred percent. Okay. It depends on because here's the thing: it's not martial arts that does that. It's People you put in charge of kids have effect on kids. So like, if they're going to school, right, and you get a teacher that hates their life, you're, you're gonna 
teacher. Like, exactly. Teacher. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna what, learn what you make is teacher. what you get. Like that's that's so, how that works. So the question is actually like, kind of a myth. Um, are nunchucks illegal to carry? Oh, uh, that oh is, boy! Uh, not true. I'm Here's something sure. that's that is, so, I ain't a lawyer. On, that's but descendants gaming. The Descendants Gaming. Gaming. Thank you for providing the first Ooh. usable question. I'm no lawyer's I'm very excited. but I'm pretty sure that uh, you can carry two sticks now, hold in on. your backpack. Hold on. Keep proving wrong. I'm pissed. <laughs> so, now, I don't know this for sure. Jamie, if you could look this up, please. That'd be great. But I'm pretty sure that there are certain states that classify, that actually classify them as weapons. And so with that, you cannot really. really. Four states have nah, bro. Have That's laws when you run. Hold on. Four states have laws banning personal nunchuck use: Arizona, California, New York, and Massachusetts. There are four, four. states you can't carry nunchucks. Uh, California, however, makes California, California makes sense. Arizona, Arizona and New York both have been overturned. Okay. Also so only sense. one. There's so one two, state two, in the union. Two. 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 Only two states in the union. California and Massachusetts. California and Massachusetts. California, you can't carry a gun, but you, okay, watch you can carry nunchucks. You can carry some rice beaters. You can't carry nunchucks. <laughs> You can't carry a gun or nunchucks. No, he says overturned California. No, no. In New so York, overturned in New York Arizona. and Arizona. Oh, okay. Arizona, the state where you can go out and hop behind a minigun out there on the field, you couldn't carry nunchucks for a little bit. Bro, I, I feel guess. like here's the thing. I feel like hey, Arizona is one, to get out of hand. Arizona's you, you, one of those places they're like, nah, you can use it to fight off the desert creatures. Like just <laughs> right? you know, rather than shooting the shooting the rattlesnake, you see, you take you take your little your little nunchuck, you whop them right on the skull. <laughs> I mean, you can do it with a shovel, right? You can smash no, it with a shovel. You have the... So you're just Bang. walking out through the desert, <laughs> yeah. right through the saguaro cactuses, Ready. and then you're like, Preacher, wham! No, 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 no. Okay. it's a cactus thing. You're yes. hiking, you're going through the, the desert, and you know, every once in a while, there's gonna be a snake on the, on the trail. Yeah, you're and you're like, you know me. what? Okay. I don't want you to be a problem for other people, one. and you just, um, <laughs> oh, why, oh, why just so when? Might have, might have messed that up. Is it true that at a certain point in martial arts training, you are considered a legal weapon? <laughs> Legally, okay. no. So, That's actually a good question because a lot of people don't realize. Yeah, because legally, no, no, right? No. 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 Legally, at no point no. is your body considered a weapon. Now, you don't have to register your hands. like that. You don't have, have to. to. Yeah. Uh, Th thank you, Isaac, as well. He said, yeah, that's a man. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you, so listen. Now, uh, so it is true, however, that at a certain point, Bruce Lee did register his hands as weapons in the state of California. However, that was not a legal requirement. That was a statement on his own badass. Yeah, he was. That was a flex. Yeah, that was. That it was. was, it, was, was it was just literally a bat wing <laughs> flex on it's Bruce like, Lee's part. But you're not ever required yet. There are some states. I have heard of some cases. Uh, Master Meadows told us about this one. I uh, have heard about like some cases where they go in there and you're required to tell somebody if you know martial arts before using it on them. So, so some, Yeah, like if somebody's assaulting you, I, I get Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold like, hey, up, I know I'll beat your ass. I know karate, well, you know, might. Like, am, like, am I allowed to curse? Yeah, am I allowed to curse? Hold on, I have to get to another question. Hold on, I have to get to another question. Is your training and kind of like, how is your training useful in IRL situations? How is, like, our training specifically? Like, or, like, or any martial arts training? Martial arts training. Is your training. Is our training. In IRL situations, your training. Okay. Uh, uh yes. Uh, what kind of big, yes. Yeah. Why are you defending okay, yourself, so, yeah? So, the re- the re- That was I Isaac again. I feel like the reason a lot of people ask that is because the videos that do best- yes. And I've tested this. Specifically yours. You said specifically it's yours. The, the, okay, videos yeah, that, the videos that I do- and that do like work are all tricking videos like that's what people enjoy watching on the internet and that's what people blow that's what blows up i've posted traditional oh there it is <laughs> yes dang it yes, yes! okay <laughs> got him uh, <laughs> we did it boy oh yeah the game over? Right. The game over? That, game, that game is over so <laughs> Yes! Oh Let's go. man. I didn't. I oh was, yeah! Was saying, I'm the honest with you. I forgot what the word was. I forgot we were playing a game. <laughs> Dang it! I forgot we were playing a game. I uh, gave up. Okay, so. We'll get to that in a second. We'll do another, we'll do another game in a second. We'll get to that in a second. Finish that game's over. You can say traditional now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway. I've done videos of traditional martial arts and of effective, like, self defense videos, but no one ever watched those. Like, they just. They just didn't do well on TikTok and stuff, they didn't blow up. And so, uh, everybody thinks that I can just do tricks, but no. I've spent, probably, I got my first weapon in 2007. I didn't get a sword until 
probably 2014, I'm say it. I'm probably, yeah, probably 2014. So, like, most of my training is a military style. It's what mm-hmm. literally oh, all of us are training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and then I guess in that, it, if it's that sense of training, then yeah, it's useful in everyday life, right? Yeah, because it because uh, one t- taught us how to stay in shape. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. So one, um, we live healthy. Life. What is what is the Fairly weirdest weapon? Decently. What is the weirdest weapon you? With some exceptions. What is the weirdest weapon you? Oh, that's a good that question. Ellie, question. Is, eh? You do you own those? Uh, you own a rope dart? You own a rope dart? Or chain no, dart? No, I own a, I own a rope <laughs> dart. He <laughs> is in possession of I'm one, aware, but I own a rope is, dart. It is. It's a cool weapon. It's, it's it dumb, but it's cool. You know what's cool? That I don't own. It is, it is cool. The hook sword. The yeah. Like, the Chinese hook swords. I don't want some of those. Yeah, I do too. But so I can like get my phone. When I'm still in bed, I can like just reach over the <laughs> sand. I just want to get a sword. And I want to get a, like a like a straw. <laughs> no, I'm going to go jet for Halloween. I don't want to be jet. I'd be cool. cool. I'd be alright. No, I'd be cool. Um, just go in there and look for some chick <laughs> who dressed up as Katara. Because there's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. You see that? Amazon sold out Everywhere. their costumes for like a day. Like, yep. There's going to be a ton of Katara's this year. I need to dress up as. Oh, no, I think the weirdest one. I'm sure I can dress up as Zang. The, the, the tricycle on the staff. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Moving past it. <laughs> I'm just playing. You're use your game. height? And shave your head as an excuse. I'm gonna to shave some... my head, motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, back it up. Okay. Okay. Uh, but right. both of a coin. Weirdest, that weirdest weapon, I think, personally, is the trisectional staff. Yeah. I'm gonna bring up that one too. I have no idea how to use it, but like, I, I've seen it. I'm not a fan of using it. So I used it a little bit. Like, I we seriously had training like, out to like a wushu school, and like we trained with it for it was literally one day, but. I always thought it was weird and stupid, but it kind of makes sense when you have it because you have this steel bar going across your chest. You always and have you something bothering you. Like so yeah, it's like using a scrimmage sticks. There's slightly it limits the movement, but it's like using a scrimmage sticks, but also having a constant block. So you can attack. You don't have to block with these. You can constantly Just attack. Yeah, the ones on the outside. You have this slight bar that you can block. Well, it's not slapping. Right. Slow, then you get slow, slow, this, slow. but like it does restrict your motion so much, it feels that. pretty dumb. Country will let you know, uh, this is a little canny a little bit. How um how do you get more flexible to do higher kicks? So stretching. Stretching. stretching and practicing the kick. Like if you want to get a higher kick, practice kicking as high as you can. Like honestly. So like uh, I will say, do fifty like well, I tried doing that yeah. at the gym the other day, just because I know I fight to other people. Right. I have to kick high. Do fit get a bag, something. Do fifty kicks as high as you can each side. So my thing for Chase this. Chase those muscles. Yeah, definitely for stretching. So obviously stretch, whatever. But yeah. there are ways that you can stretch that will definitely get you where you want to go faster. Okay. Yeah. First thing, let the cat in for f- sake. Are you gonna come in? In, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> He's in. He's chilling. Okay. So first thing you can do to fix your stretching is stretch when your muscles are warm. Don't wait until, like, don't stretch cold because that's not going to help anything. It's just going to help you pull things. The other thing is stretch before and after you work out. Warm so, downs are just as important. Exactly. So, like, when if you're training to kick higher, all right, like you said. So, just do, like, in-place running with knee highs, right? Just do knee highs for, like, 45 seconds. Then stretch your hamstrings. Sit down, touch your toes, stand up, touch your toes, whatever. Then stretch your hamstrings. Okay, then, just like Wyatt said, do your kicks as high as you can. Don't worry about power, don't worry about speed, just, just high. high. Just, just get it right. as high up there as you can. And then when you're done, this is the most important part, stretch your hamstrings out again. Because if you stretch them out, by, if you stretch them out, then kick, and you don't stretch after you're done, they're going to slink back in because it's like a spring. You have to stretch them out again even further so that when it comes back down, it gets about to the point you were going to kick again. You know, builds that much ability. And it's not like, there is no one kind of fix. There's no one thing you can do. Here's the trick. Here's the secret trick. No. You have to it's, put in time. It's just put in practice. And that's how much more is in general. Like, you're, yeah. it is the one place where you, there's nothing you can do to skip ahead. Like, I would say meritocracy. I would, I would well, say, though, that, uh, not that definitely, like, doing warm downs and warm ups before you stretch, that'll cut your time to get where you want to flex. But I'd say mm-hmm. kind of And it'll, it'll, it'll keep you from getting injured when trying to do it and not actually yeah. 
you won't pull something and try to get that when you don't actually know what you're doing it's easy to pull something that's easy to actually hurt yourself so yep <laughs> but yeah just warm up stretch kick stretch yeah. stretch again this is the most important one facts facts uh, but I'm also it'd be different stretches for different kicks. Front kick yeah. not gonna be the same as a roundhouse That's kick. True. That's true. Hamstrings. Hamstrings. That hamstrings is only good. For hamstrings is good for front. It's good. Yep. It's decent for a roundhouse. But if you're doing a roundhouse, it's the uh, inside your groin. Yeah. So splits exactly. and uh, uh, what's that weird kind of half split you do? You just put your knees down. Oh, the the frog splits. Yeah, the frog, frog splits. splits. Frog splits. They're they're my favorite. They're like super easy to do. But you still can get that much of the because you need to. Butterflies, butterflies, yeah, butterflies stretches are good. good. Yeah, okay, cool. Do you have anything else from the channel? Yes, switch topics. No, uh, we, no, we don't want to switch topics. So, DJ, you had a um, channel update you wanted, or you had a channel update. Yes, uh, okay. Right <coughs> okay, so there's a bunch of stuff going on with this channel. Um, I've been trying out a new, um, new post pattern for you guys, so. Uh, I used to do tutorials every weekend. I don't do that anymore. Every other week, I'll do a week of tutorials to build up on individual um, tricks and training and combinations and stuff like that. So if that interests you, um, that's how I'm gonna be doing it. It's gonna be all gonna be in a playlist. And if you want to put your input on a combo that you want to see, wow. Yeah, I know. He's, oh. he's helping. He's, he's helping the <laughs> camera. <team. laughs> but if so, if you want to give input on the comments that you want to see, obviously you can comment on the videos on YouTube. But uh, first off, I will always listen to my Discord guys first. And so if you really want to, you know, choose what I do first, draw my Discord links in the description mm -hmm. and in the bio of this video. Oh, yeah. um, but we also have a new series coming out, and I'll let you. Yeah. So speaking of the Discord, the new series that we have coming out is called Discord Design, where uh, basically what we're what we're building up to is getting a standardized Modern Ninja loadout. We're working on armor, we're working on weapons, and he and I were going back and forth. Where I, I I'm the fabricator definitely behind this, and so I was like, all right, so what what do you want for this weapon? What do you want for this weapon? And we got to throwable weapon, and ended up just getting a bunch of really recognizable throwing knives is pretty boring and shurikens and i was like hey we need to get more creative and then he goes well let's just ask the discord and i was like i don't, I don't think just going out to the follower base and saying hey design a weapon i don't think it's a really good idea he goes well it's already been done so <laughs> so he put the event out there and it actually worked out really well at the time there were only like 300 people in the discord we got 43 designs sent in and out of those 43 designs like some of them were really good it was actually pretty yeah some of them were really good yeah he actually had I had quite a bit of issue pick, picking a winner and so he picked a winner and then i produced that design as close as i could to the actual design found some issues in it feasibility wise and so then i just added um <coughs> physics and engineering to it to where it maths. actually yeah i added maths. the maths to it to where it actually worked out really well we have it it's finished and then so what we'll have is we'll have a, a video of me designing and then proofing and coming up with the eventual design that's gonna be a video uh, part one then we're gonna have a video of him testing the weapon which is gonna be seeing how to use it seeing where the point is he needs to stand to where he can really use it effectively what its effective range is things like that and then the third video will be a fight that he'll produce centered around that weapon so it'll be like it's a throwable weapon and so he'll be like all right now that he's tested it now that I designed yeah, it now that we know anything no, no. about it I'm down to happy clean. No. Uh, with live streams. Y'all open it up with no, some we're obscenities on the live stream. It's yeah. Fine. No, do not let him out. Fine. Well, there you go. He gets half this it's shit okay. he was talking about the cat. It's only a quarter of it, like 1%. Okay. Wait. So, anyway. <laughs> that's going to be weird to cut. Uh, what do so you mean? No, we don't got to cut it. You just got to leave it in. <laughs> why you cut it? it? See, this is why, this is why you're stuck at 40k. This is why you can't hey, get any bigger. I have 40 no. one now, we're good. No, this is fine. This is the, this is the, this is the part that's cool about podcasts, the little okay. in-between conversation. Um, okay. Caleb, I'm going to preface this by, you got you to gotta sip this one out. Oh, time out, time out, time out, time oh, out. Time out. Have to sip this one before we, before we get into that, one um, so by the time, I, while we're on that type of video, if that interests you, uh, by the time you're watching this, 
that's already out. So go check it out on the channel right now. And so if you want like, to participate, participate like, design. subscribe, give your little spiel. Come on, like and subscribe. Want, no, that's that's exactly what we're not telling them to do. No, if it's you want to Discord, if you want to participate, jump in the Discord because Ooh, that's how Discord. that's how you get involved and that's how you get updates on when the next contest will be if it's not already live right now. So Plus, participating in the challenge gets you a higher rank in the Discord. Because we give out participation trophies. Meritocracy. Oh, that's not meritocracy. <laughs> no, that's no, not meritocracy. Not. Never mind. Take well, we do want people to participate. I mean, so. I'm not saying it's not justified. We might have to stop at some point. So we get like a million designs for like a, a 3D printed hat that's a helmet or well, something. We'll, do, we'll make a special rank. <laughs> <laughs> participated. Yeah, participated and then participated well. <laughs> Actually contributed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Again, uh, you're gonna preface this with Caleb. This will have to be entirely cut if you participate in this conversation. Okay. Um, DJ, a lot of people want to know what happened to the Guardians. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna have fun. Okay. So here's here's the thing. I get a lot of people. He's gonna start beef. I don't know. I, I love beef. beef. I know you do. <laughs> I know. You, I know you do. I'm a cow guy, you know. Um. Okay, so the thing with the Guardians, um, if you don't know, the Guardians was a YouTube group that I was part of. <laughs> what is he doing? We're, We're starting beef, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get ready. And that's the end of the Guardians. <laughs> and now, on that that's all. What do you think of the actual concept of the Guardians, and do you think it? Like, cool idea. Like cool. It's a cool idea. Especially with the recent it's, it's, well, Let's go, let's go left, right. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know, know how the mic is going to be about separating the jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Cool idea, right? You got night, or what, what, what a neighborhood is that? What's the neighborhood watch or something? Yeah. Right, whenever they have their own, like, we live in this neighborhood, we're going to try to keep it decently safe. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Cool, it's a cool idea. You got okay, some, exactly. some superheroes, some su superheroes, really just volunteers who want to try to keep this area of town safe. Cool. You know? Oh. Well, especially oh, right, with everybody. Uh, uh, DJ. NQG Rebel wants to know are you texting for your fourth degree? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wow. Someone, no, someone that has trained. Someone has hey, it has to be someone who's trained Tom Sudo. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not. Not yet. I'm not, 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 yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm eligible. I'm just not ready. Yeah. Okay, anyway, keep going. Yeah. But either, good idea, especially with, with the whole, like, with the whole people not trusting police. Having a face of someone that, or like a superhero that you know, it's like, okay, I trust that dude. Oh, totally. Right? To, at least, that dude makes me feel a little safer in the in this oh, space. Totally. It's a cool idea. It's probably not going to work out very well, but it's cool in theory. In theory, it's cool, yeah. In and theory, also, it might work. It, but from, as a, like, as a thought, you know, the goal was to help people and you know that's great I, I think great thought it got kids to uh work out and explore you know other things other than what's behind their screen it got them to do stuff got them to try making weapons it got them to try you know testing out martial arts it got a lot of kids into martial arts which is great but from a practical standpoint yeah you're, you're not good guy. well yeah it's about what, saying, what, yeah. what people wanted to do was like literally go out and fight bad guys yeah and even if that there was a, a lot good of bad guys. even if that was a good idea when you were an adult as you were an adult fighting another adult these were kids yeah and that, that was another thing too is, is it it put them in ideology and encouraged an ideology that would hurt his own follower base they were going to get hurt not a single when i came onto the scene i did a series of videos where i was just basically yelling at them very aggressively how stupid it would be. And it worked because it, it drove the little ones away and it made the ones that were smart enough to understand that what I was saying was actually factually based. It turned them into mean lords. It kind of also killed the community. Sorry about that. Not really though. Uh, but like feasibility standpoint, you have to be well equipped and closer to whatever you're stopping than a police force, which I, I'm sure now has even more merit with a lot of communities talking about policing yeah. themselves and things like that with, uh, you know, defunding the police and, and stuff like that, which if you have that kind of call going on, this could seem like an attractive offer, but you have to be better equipped for it. And honestly, especially with 
where people were shooting. They weren't like, oh, you know, I'm going to stop robberies by being present in this area. Or, oh, I'm just going to kind of be out and about. I'm just going to be in a car and kind of drive around to where people feel that there's a presence of others and don't feel comfortable committing crimes. They were like, nah, I'm going to go stop a mugging. I'm going to go prevent a rape. It's like, you're going to go get shot today. You're yeah. going to go get stabbed. And they were going to like doing places like, like, like Detroit. Yeah. And like Chicago. There's yeah, Chicago. Places Chicago, where you will get shot. There, there was two in there Philly. Was Philly. Philly. It was, there was more than two in Philly. Yeah, there were several. Because really there was like that one guy and then yeah. all his little... Yeah, so... It, and that was the thing, is that uh, above everything else, if you want to take the information that is available and provided by the Guardian, and then you want to make that step, that is of your own volition, that's your free choice, that's your free thought, whatever. But encouraging and that. other And other people have done it. Like, there was some one guy, yeah. Phoenix Jones. Phoenix Jones was mm -hmm. his name. He was, a, yeah. he was a UFC Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah I know he, that dude. he did that. He, and he, he but suited where did up. He, wait, wait, no. And where, he walked where did in he New York. In New York. Yeah. Okay, no. And he walked through the streets of New York with a taser, pepper spray. Does he do it in the neighborhood? Does he do it like in his area of like where around where he lives? Mm -hmm. Cause I think I think that's the only way well, it could work. With yeah. self policing. Yeah, no, I, that's did, the only way he, I think he, it could work well, he, in a feasible way. Mm -hmm. This is the closest you can get. Well, to. and he got he got body armor. He got body armor, yeah, a actually, high boost of motorcycle, and a police scanner. And he did it in a community that the police largely ignored. His whole his whole costume so was. Like he was entirely bulletproof. He was entirely bulletproof. And he's not Man going out six. going, I'm going to beat the shit. Paul, what's the height and weight of Phoenix he Jones? Him. He's a big man. Okay? Well, well, wait, Classy, fine. Because he sounds like so, a good boy. Yeah, but this guy was massive, he was well equipped, and he was in a community that was actually being ignored by its actual yep. law enforcement. And because because of the speed and capabilities of his badass Hayabusa, okay, that he was able to get there faster than the police. He was able to get there when the police ignored it. And when and exchange pops off, he actually knows how to fight. Yeah, he knew how to fight. He had 15 something yep. years of training Six in his belt. Six foot, Six foot tall, 170 pounds, pounds of rock hard muscle, okay? Yep. That dude was a beast. A beast. Not only with his fist, he and, will and electrocute even he, you. Even he got shot yep. and stabbed several times. Yeah, and broke his ribs and he stopped several times. He went to the no, he went No, he didn't stop. He stopped for a time to heal. Okay. He he stopped but, but now. So, so but you know how we stop now? And you can double check me on this. But I'm pretty sure he got arrested for, for selling drugs. Wait, 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 what drugs? Where, he, where uh, not weed. No, 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 that's why I'm asking. That's, it. that's the honest reason I'm asking. If it's anything other than weed, then not, understandable. Like, you, like, yeah, okay. you're go yeah, yeah, you're getting arrested. You're selling something. Yeah. Like, so, no, he was selling yep. a lot. Number five on the, uh, Phoenix, if I touch Phoenix Jones, number five is drugs. Yeah. What, so, what, well, what tell, no, tell us, what, what, what did he, what, what did it? he get arrested for? Because I'm curious. Because I'm like, catch a season this season. He got undercover <laughs> drug busting. Oh, oh damn! God. Yeah, that was a weed. This dude got fucked. Oh, Try to sell drugs to a man. But man, body armor is expensive. It is. Body armor is expensive, and uh, I don't yeah, know how. Drug, I don't know drug dealers. Here's the thing. So. I don't know how. I, I don't know how far this dude went to the UFC, right? But uh, if the only reason Both I remember, if the only reason I remember his name because he fought crime, it means he didn't make it far enough to get paid a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's he's, a, he's, he's not getting But again, this is a, that was $500 a million. Oh, ecstasy. Act, he's, he's selling party drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what was his, what was his, Makes uh, sense. I can record. see that. Well, no, it makes sense. What is his fight? I don't see what he's going to buy. If he made it to the UFC, he's a good fighter. Yeah. You are, if you made the UFC, you are a good fighter. Yeah, number one. He was extremely well equipped with training. He was yeah. extremely well he equipped was in with, with the he gifts that God and the shape. Church of Iron gave him. Yeah. Okay. And then on top of all of that, he went out and tacked himself out from head to toe and got himself equipped to deal with a pretty rare situation in which there was a community that was not being policed efficiently. Seven and then, wins, three losses. Seven One wins, and MMA fights. In his total MMA fight. Seven by knockout, four by submission, two by decision, and all three of his losses were by decision. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's good. That's so he's never, never been finished. knocked out. He's that's, never been knocked out or yeah. submitted. Excellent fighter, but again, uh, sold ecstasy. Sold ecstasy, sorry, sorry, bud. Yeah. You got caught trying to give someone a good sign, like, yeah. Well, I don't know. Apparently, a lot of people. 
regardless, I think wow. it, 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 uh, it, this it, is really a great. This was his main. Yeah. 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 Regardless, done. yeah. Cho choosing, choosing to do that with this information, or whatever. Okay, but promoting that, with promoting a bunch of people that are not built or trained or equipped like Phoenix Jones is it's uh, dangerous. Mark, it's it's yeah, for exactly. their life. It's for radicalizing their life. children and then having them march off to get shot by the three men. Moving on. Okay. Real quick. Uh, we don't want to give you something to read. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See ya. <clears throat> we doing that? Oh, we, we, are, doing we are doing that. Okay. We got something to read for y'all. Gonna do it in like the <clears throat> smell voice. Yeah, there you go. I can't pronounce the first word. Valiant. Valiant. Okay. I was like, why? <laughs> Does that look weird? Because uh, the, the, the B oh, and the A are both capitalized. Okay. He's like, got fat fingers, so. <laughs> Alright, Valiance and Villainy, a new game made by Rebel Corp to be a role-playing tabletop with superheroes and villains. Uh, this game is all based on the legendary D20 game, so Dungeons and Dragons. To, so stay tuned to this channel because I'll be posting updates and information here and on my Discord. So if, you're, if you want to get involved, if you want to know more about it, ask me questions in the comments or on my Discord and I'll get back to you as fast as possible. Yeah, that's another thing that we've been, we've been. Yeah, we've been that's another thing we've been cooking up. Uh, another guy in our little group of people, uh, his, his name is Bowen, and so he's gone out and he really likes D and D. He's an excellent dungeon master. He has a lot of fun, and they're basically just big old meme sessions. It's, it's super cool. It's awesome. But, and if you're interested in possibly getting, uh, you know, to play it yourself. We may be releasing a small amount of the books that he created himself. So if you're books. interested, you know, links will be down in the description and just join my Discord and ask me. But also, oh god, why? Pull this up here real quick. Is this because he got a sticker on it? <laughs> oh, because he got a sticker! <laughs> oh my god, merch! Buy some merch, guys! So uh, if you want a sticker like this one <laughs> or a cool rebel shirt, I'm gonna have some masks. For, you know, to protect you from COVID, COVID which I said that on YouTube, it's yeah. probably not okay, but oh well, we're here anyway. Wait, do YouTube not believe you? YouTube? No, YouTube. YouTube takes you down if you talk about COVID. YouTube does not like when you talk about COVID. <laughs> COVID is bad for business, Unless baby. you're a news channel. Yeah, but don't, YouTube does not YouTube. like, I don't think it's as strict anymore, but they, it definitely YouTubers was YouTubers will early. censor the word. It definitely yeah. was early. Or they'll just call it something else, yeah. <laughs> but regardless, so I'll have to bleep that Merch plug. I have to, I'll yeah. have no, to. I, we should be fine. We're, okay. we're, we're pretty far away. From okay. As long as you're not so, talking. I know we, we the game ended pretty early last time, so what we're gonna do for this entire uh, oh topic oh is y'all have to take your chairs out and hold a horse stance the whole time. Oh, oh. Bro, I did leg day. I mean, what crap. The that you, you mean? That's on you. Eat. That's your fault. Uh. And going, I'll go ahead and get y'all started. Okay, so oh, the. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to stay sitting. No, I didn't. I didn't want, want everyone to see how short it was. I see it happened eventually. So, we have to hold on. Hold on. What are the rules? We gotta hold a horse stance for the whole topic. Old topic. And uh -huh. don't just try to move along. Okay. Let's try to move along. Bro, my section is gonna be two seconds. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm gonna yeah. say, like, say nothing. How deep this horse stance gotta be? Because this actually is gonna it's hurt good. me. Good. I'm really sorry. Y'all can go ahead and judge you. I'm, bro, I'm so sorry. Don't make me say bitch in these. Don't make me say bitch in these. Hold on, these claws are tired. Wyatt. The topic is uh, so. No, no, no. Training Actually, just tell me my punishment. Shh, shh, shh. Training in a dojo doesn't act. So this is a, one of the myths, and this is, or not a myth. Um, training in a dojo okay, doesn't down, actually right. get you prepared for a street fight. Gotcha. Woo! This is a good one. Okay. This is yeah. This is white enough. Okay. So that's the myth. We have the to myth on the topic. topic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think. Uh, 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 get your hands off the no, wall. No, I'm, I'm trying to slide. I'm just. Okay. So, Song of the Sip Song Say, which is one of the little pillars of our martial art. Okay, it's a 13 point little song or whatever. And one of them is surprising things will happen when you meet your opponent. Whatever you train for is what you're going to be prepared for. Training in a dojo, whatever martial art is it, it is, even up to Rex Kwando, if you train properly, and how to this hit, will, this will be the how last to move, and then we'll take one more question topic. Gotcha. If you train properly, how to hit, how to move, how to maneuver, how to block, whatever, even as traditional and non-workable as it is, if you get to the point where you need it and you have it, you'll get there. <laughs> no, no, I'm struggling. Under, uh, the cat's under him. Oh god. Oh, hey buddy. <laughs> I think it's helpful. Now, there's varying degrees of what's more and less helpful. Yeah, okay? yeah, obviously. And, and that's the thing. It's the only dojo that's not gonna help at all 
will be the dojos that don't teach anything effective. Ah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm not the last oh, one. Oh, yeah. So it means I can stand up, so it means I can stand up. Are you going to lose? You gonna no, no, no. You're going to take the ass first. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> the loser has to sit on the floor for the remainder of the podcast, or say Jacob Tolt Do- Do- is an amazing martial artist and did nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, Jacob Tolt Do- is an amazing martial artist. He did nothing wrong, and now I can stand up. I'm the winner. I, are you kidding me? No, no, no. I'll Caleb take has that. To do- okay, so he's sitting on the floor. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Uh, see, I'm too short for that. Right, I can't take that one. Yeah, that's I'm sorry. Right. That, that game's not dumb. I just don't like it. Because it hurt. And then, so we got, we'll take five more questions. Anyway, I want to answer that. Though. Yeah, I do want to answer that. Everyone wants to answer so, that question. So, Good question. Uh, you still see me? Yeah, I can see. Just a little bit. Yeah, and both of them are still visible. Okay, okay. awesome. Uh, well, training in Dojo, though. Whoa. Woo! Good catch. Roller coaster! Nice. Free of charge. Um, nice. Training in the Dojo. Can help, right? Um, just a part of the part of using help is because one of the most uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word um, stunning things. Whenever you are getting into a fight, if someone's going to hurt you, it's getting hit. If you've never been hit before, mm-hmm. like that will shock. It'll shock your brain. You, if you've you, never actually been punched, I'm not talking like you're playing around with your friends and you get pops with a little something. I'm talking someone is trying to hurt you, like you actually and is throwing hit. everything into this punch. That shit hurts, <laughs> all right? And if you've never been punched before, you're, you're just gonna, you're gonna pause, you're gonna freeze. And Unless you, you're just freak. And training, training something, training something like self-defense in a safe room does not mean you can't do it in an unsafe room. Yeah. Training something on a mat doesn't mean you can't do it anymore on the concrete. Um, One thing, uh, for, and for a lot of things, it's easier to do on the concrete. Mm. Like, what you mean? In my in my opinion, doing uh, doing martial arts outside is easier to yeah. do. If if and okay. than, than inside. The, I don't the, say it's easier. I like it more, but I wouldn't say it's easier. Yeah. That's fair. I would say just tra- train general though, it just prepares you, it teaches you to I, stay calm I enjoy it a lot better. I, I say easier I like, because a lot of my training is weapon stuff, and yeah. so not being So you need more room, so not having a ceiling, ceiling, not having a ceiling, ceiling, ceiling that's it makes it, it easier for me. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why. If well, you're fighting, like, it doesn't matter whether it's outside or inside, unless you are in a small room like an elevator. Yeah, but you know, if you're doing jendo or sparring or whatever, and like when he and I fight in the backyard, that's way harder out there than it is in a dojo because you know, you got like all these little slips and stuff. I can move right and trip and fall, and then he's gonna jump on my head and just wail on me. And it's like, okay, cool. I lost that fight because we have a gopher. <laughs> that's not easier to deal with. That's more that's to deal with. Hey, you take advantage of it. Honestly, balance is key. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah balance. Balance. Into oh, balance. Leading into Oh, balance no. is key. <laughs> 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 you were telling me how to not trip in a gopher hole. I mean, that is also. No, true. balance doesn't help that with awesome. that. Hey, oh, hey, just use hey. your ankle muscles and flip your whole body back. Just Shut up. Just, just get built to fight. No, no, do not pull the brawn into the be like King James okay. and just be the last, so, last thing, um, so we, building off of that, and there are many people who think martial arts is useless unless you train for decades. So it's not, it's not useless, well, but the more you train, the better the you more, are. Exactly. It's not. It's the, never the idea useless. of being useless. Having the information at a base level of how to protect yourself is going to be more useful than not having the information mm-hmm. at yeah. a base level. I teach. Obviously. Obviously, someone that's been training for years and putting more work into it will be better and probably be able to beat the person that's only put, you know, three months into it. Yeah, exactly. like, it, you get out of it what you put into it, but having the information at a bare minimum is always better significantly than going into a fight. In this, can, in this case, ignorance is not bliss. Yeah, if you know is anything, not it's, helpful. it's helpful. Anything yeah. can be used. I teach a free women's self defense class. And then that first, like it's like I do two hour session first. Two hours later, okay, they are one hundred percent more qualified to fight somebody than they were beforehand. Yeah. And it's not that they're super like, they skilled; didn't, they don't yeah. have the the perfect hand eye coordination it's because they have the information mm-hmm. now. Again, I, I, I think uh, any any information is useful just because if you have nothing, you're in the dark. When someone tries to tell, if someone again is trying to hurt you, or you in your, I'm trying to think when it, it's self defense though, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So. So if someone tries to grab you, pull someone tries away. to grab you, pull away. If you know nothing, you're in the dark. 
Yeah. You, have no and, idea, you don't know how to respond to this. And you it's don't not know always what's gonna happen. what you would expect. But, the, like the, yeah. like, well, sometimes what you would expect would work actually makes doesn't it worse. Work. Like grabbing people on the wrist, if you just try to pull away, it makes it worse. Doesn't, yeah, yeah, it doesn't your help. your grip gets tighter, right. it makes it worse. And people don't realize that because, mm -hmm. you know, why would you? You've never attacked someone, hopefully. No one's tried it. No so, one has simulated attack. No one's tried to attack you. You've never had yeah. this problem. So why would, how would you exactly. know how to, think, you, how to you, you uh, should, address you it? You don't know, and it's, you shouldn't know. That's yeah. not something you would know. Mm. But, so, cool. any yeah, any information. We're Just actually going to a fun one. Um, what do y'all think of firearms martial arts? Like gun fu? Uh, I, it's cool because it looks. I it looks like it because it's movies. super cool. Yeah, it looks, super real. It looks the same reason no, I like. Real. It's yeah. not real. Okay, the same it's reason. Like made, it's made specifically for films. Yeah, it's movie, made for like the Matrix. And it stuff was invented like that. for John Wick. The movie Equilibrium is not very good. It's a rip off of Fahrenheit 451. Oh, I never with, seen it. However, with Batman, Christian Bale flipping around with his gun. I'm about it. Yeah, okay. it's it's dope. Uh, I actually did a video talking about it no, uh, like a little bit ago. Uh, yeah, specifically with, um, I think it's specifically for what like John Wick does. Yeah. Oh. It's, but what it's, is, what it's super insane. fun. It's, super it's, fun. Fun. it's fun to watch. It's fun to it's watch. It's just like X yeah. and It's stuff. fun to try it's out. Real. It's yeah. fun to try but out. But if you're fighting it's someone, it probably ain't going to it's help. Well, it's not but real. The most effective thing you see him do is just pulling back and shooting. Not yeah, but like, yeah, like that's the thing. It's like, I mean, when I went to ICS training, you know, they, they, you know, you, start off by Sosley's or Weaver, right? The first thing you teach is, okay, so here's the pull-in point when you're going around right. first. That's not gun food, that's a combat no, that's directive. Just, yeah. Like, that's, so, that's not I think it's cool, but I also think the uh, idea of a martial art that's training for you as a combatant to be surrounded by people and with a handgun dispatch them. Two handguns. I, <laughs> I think that that's a very limited scenario. Oh, and I think the scenarios me. in which the person using that is a good guy is uh, very <laughs> well limited. Yeah. I don't think that's really a it thing for good up. people, you know? Like, there's not going to be multiple posts you're not going to be surrounded by. <laughs> Unless. What if you're fighting the mob? The mob huh? What if you're yeah. fighting the mob? They got lots hey, of guys. No, hey, hey. Don't start in the middle. Just, you gotta get. You gotta we build get different, y'all. We build different. Yeah. Keep going. All right, you know what? I'm not, I'm not no friend. Thanks. And on that note, it's time right, to win. So, thank you guys, for thanks for watching. Uh, guys on the stream, thank you for checking it out. Uh, if you are interested in this series, in more, seeing more podcasts, it's already the first one up. Um, so you can go and check that out like, from right from now. Home. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna edit this one. It's different. pretty great. It's gonna be different. We build different, dog. We build different. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> it will be built different. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely check out check it out. You know, just click through my videos. It's not that far ago. Also, if you're wanting to participate in the building challenges that I drop, Discord. information will be on Discord. I I will post it in very few other places. So if you really want to get you know notified about it, go on the Discord. That's all you gotta do. Oh. But yeah. Also, for, for Modern Ninja Uncensored, make sure you catch it live. Yeah. Also, uh, facts. Yeah. Big facts. Also, the nice thing catch is like live. the Discord. The Discord will uh, let you know ahead. Of give you more advanced notice than any other platform when we're dropping videos. The Discord oh, had a 100%. one hour notice on this video. YouTube had what? 15 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. So you'll get a more you get your more advanced jump. And of course, if you have more questions and topics you want us to talk about, leave them in the comments of this video once it posts. Yep. Sounds good. Follow that. I'm Joel Messenger. I'm Wyatt Mitch. And I'm the Modern Ninja. And we're out. Uh -huh.